Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Travel and Choose. I, of course, am your favorite host, Jay. And I'm Keisha. And we're coming to you guys today from Kennesaw, Georgia, where we had the Taste of Kennesaw event held this weekend, um, November the 2nd, here in um, Kennesaw. And um, it's very, very nice out here. I see they're getting things ready. We're, it started at 11 o'clock. Um, and at 6. Yeah, yeah, and at 6 o'clock. So, um, as you can see, it's got a lot of little tents set up right now. Yep. So I'm um, interested in grabbing some few different dishes today, showing you guys a little diversity. Um, the first time we've been to an actual food event, so it's going to be great today, I understand. Yes. Yes. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> we're here, Taste the Kennesaw, doing big on this very beautiful Saturday. A little chill in the air, but hey man, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. So as you can see around me, we got a lot of different vendors out here today. It's going to be a great day. We even got some little bouncy house fun over here for the kids and all types of good things. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk around and give y'all a total view of what's going on at Tasty Kennesaw. And me and Keisha will be right back, okay? Cool. Alright, starting off the whole walk tour, we see Colombian Bites. Colombian Bites, interested in seeing what these guys have to offer on the tour. Alright, we got a shaved ice truck next year. I don't know why they got that out on this cool morning, but hey bro, how you doing? Um, next to that, Jamaican Soul Food. As we go across the street, we got Williamson Brothers. Williamson Brothers Barbecue. Next to that, Copeland's of New Orleans. Hey Copeland, what's going on? Uh, Rosaria's Italian Kitchen. Hmm, I'm gonna most definitely stick my nose over here and see what they got cooking. See the Burger Fire restaurant behind the festivities. As we go back across the street, we have Bernie's Charbroiled Oysters and Cielo Blue Mexican Grill and Cantina. So, Keisha decided to come over to Copeland's and grab her a quick bite. What do you got on the menu, Keish? Tasso and spiced ham. Tasso today. So, how much is the bread pudding? Get your bread pudding, man. All right, you can get that bread pudding. I'm going to say that for my dessert later. The bread pudding. Oh, I got ham in it. Oh. Look at the bread pudding. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay guys, so we just had Coca's of New Orleans and this is the pumpkin bread pudding. Now we also get the shrimp and tasso pasta, but the shrimp and tasso pasta had ham in it. I don't eat ham, I know, but it looks so good though. Yes. But this is the bread pudding. I don't usually do bread pudding, but I'm gonna try it. Is that the pumpkin bread pudding, right? It's the pumpkin bread pudding, yes. Okay, so let's see. See what you got. It's not bad. Oh, okay. I'm just not a bread pudding person. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Alrighty. So I'm gonna say this with Jay since he wants bread. Alright, yeah, we'll save you later because I want to eat me some meaty food first. I know, so we're gonna still walk around. A lot of these places have lines in it, so we're trying to get to spots that don't have a lot of lines. But we're gonna come back, guys. Cool. So, at Rodney's Jamaican Soul Food, I got me some jerk chicken, some macaroni and cheese, and some cabbage. The jerk chicken sauce, I'm used to it to being a real spicy, you know. This one is kind of mild, but the chicken is very good. Season well. I'm trying try the macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Get it, Rodney? <laughs> okay. Let me grab the menu here. They gave us their menu. Um, looks very nice. 
I'm a fan of Jamaican food. Oh, I didn't show you the front of the menu. Sorry, guys. Hold on. This is the front of the menu. Ronnie Jamaican soul food on Car Park. We're in Smyrna. Okay. So, um, we'll probably go there and do a traveling too for you guys one day. You know what I'm saying? But Ronnie's pretty good. Let me get this cabbage to taste. Okay. Woo, Rodney! <laughs> He's silly. He's so silly. Get it, Rodney. The okay. cabbage is off the chain. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Got little carrots in there, little onions cut up in that bad boy. So you will go back? I'm going to mess with Rodney. Okay, that's what's so up. So this is my first meal of the day at the Taste of Kennesaw. Probably plenty more to come. Stay tuned, okay? So we still in the thick of things here at the Taste of Kennesaw. Uh, walking in, as you can see, it's very um getting crowded out here. The sun is getting a little warmer. Um, but yeah, we got to find our next spot to get down and chow down on some great cuisine. So we're looking around. Looking around. There's a Da Vinci's pizza and a taco mat. Okay. What do you think, Keisha? Which one? Oh, they go to Huey Louis. Oh, Huey Louis. Okay. Yeah, we got Huey Louis. So we're gonna make up our mind. We're gonna see. <laughs> Give us a second and we'll decide. So, um, yeah. So guys, I got my pizza, my slice of cheese pizza from Da Vinci's Pizzeria of Kennesaw. Okay. So I was gonna get the veggie, but unfortunately they had mushrooms on it and I don't like mushrooms. So I'm gonna see them break Look at that darn train in the background. All right, Keisha, so now that the train has stopped <laughs> and we can concentrate on what your hand's saying and hear you, so you got your pizza from where again? Da Vinci's Pizza. All right. Pizza. All right, all right. Um, like I was saying, they had veggie, they had different cho choices, but their veggie had mushrooms on it. I don't like mushrooms, I don't want to pick it off. That would okay. be the purpose. So that's why I got cheese. Wonderful, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, I taste some, like hint sweetness to it a little bit. I don't know if it's the crust or if it's the pizza sauce, but it's okay. All right, it's okay. cool beans. All right, guys, we're ready for our next spot. Yeah, so they have many more choices, so I'm pretty sure our taste buds are going to be wild here. So right now, Rodney's Jamaican Soul Food is in the running. Okay. The uh, the jerk chicken was good. The mac and cheese and the coleslaw. So right now, Rodney's in the running. Great. Yes. See you guys in a minute. Yes. Don't be silly. Get some chili. <laughs> Hot chili. All right, my people. So went over to Sweet Tomato and got me some chicken pot pie stew. Ooh. With a biscuit. A biscuit. Yes, yes. Gotta have a biscuit. Can't leave that biscuit out. That looks creamy and thick yeah, too. Very creamy, great Look at that thick. steam. This is like that comfort food on yes. a good cold day. Yes. Today it's kind of nippy. 35 degrees, nippy tonight. <laughs> Don't forget the chapstick, yeah. lips dry quick. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but uh, let's try this chicken pie okay. pot stew. Chicken pot pie stew. Okay. Wow. Ooh, he's pondering. Mm. He's pondering. It's got like a, a great flavor to it. I taste like some fresh, maybe some um, fresh parsley in there. Oh, oh, it is very good. I okay. can say. Okay. It's like a chicken pot pie in a stew. Okay. Mmm. Now uh, I notice you're slurping. You must like it. Oh yeah. Okay. The green tomato located there. They have that like four different locations, and the guy said they make everything from scratch every day. Okay. And they've been in business for the last 20 or 22 years. He said. Got a little biscuit. Mm, 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 it goes mm. good with it. Goes good with it. That's what's up. Thumbs up for me, guys. Okay. <laughs> so we off to another spot. Yes. See you in a minute. Yes. So the trust was on me, so I'm at Colombian Bites Restaurant. Oh, Colombian Bites. Yes. Uh -huh. So I got a chicken empanada, which Ooh. was $2. Okay. And I got chicken with, will it be? Chicken <laughs> with rice and veggies. Will it be? <laughs> All right. So the bee wants some too, mm. but he's not going to get none. All right. So we're going to see how the rice and beef, rice and chicken taste. Let's see. Rice and chicken. All right. All right. Vegetable so rice, I have seen. Vegetable rice. All right. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see what you got. It's Colombian, I guess. Okay. I like the rice. All right, all right. How's the flavor? Is it flavor season or is it just like plain vegetable? The chicken, they just chopped it up and put it on here. Oh, okay. It could have been better with that. It could have been flavorful. Uh-huh. You know, so you get a negative on that part. Gotcha. So, just chopped up. Sure, a piece of chicken. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do better, guys. So, hopefully they make up with it with the empanada. Uh-oh, oh, empanada. I've never had an empanada. Mm-hmm. Very flaky. Crispy. Okay. All right. And what's in your empanada again? Right now, it's still chicken. Okay. I she said some potatoes. Potatoes, like Lean potatoes. Mashed potatoes in there, huh? No mashed potatoes. Just regular potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, okay. Potatoes and chicken. Um, I don't know what else you said was in there, but it's good. All right. Cool beans. Had a little, a little hand flash in front of the video just now. I apologize so for you that. Got, um, you guys made up with it with the chicken empanada. All right, yep. they made up with the empanada. Thumbs up with chicken empanada. Cool beans, like cool it. beans. Wonderful. So, our next trip is going to be on Jeremy. Ooh. So our next spot was Carrabba's Italian Grill. Mm. Um, I tried a shrimp spadino. Spadino, spadino. Something like that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From what I understand, it's a breaded shrimp dish, dish that the owner's mother is um, a fan of. It's a bre- yeah. I assume it's an Italian culinary specialty or something, but okay. I'm going to try it today. Okay. Now, hold on. They're a partner? Yeah. Aren't you allergic to shrimp? No, no. I'm, I'm allergic to shrimp. It's your <laughs> I've been on a Benadryl, Claritin <laughs> regimen. And I'm, I feel confident that, that we, can, okay. we can go ahead and eat this shrimp. Okay. okay? okay. I'm not going to eat a lot. Okay. All right. As Jeremy swells up, mm-hmm. what's the what's the verdict? Good flavor. Okay, that's good. Um, the shrimps are tender. The shrimps are tender, but okay. I don't see a need for this bread. I don't know how it adds. Oh hands. boy. Maybe it's just like it's got flavor in it. Okay. You said it always also comes like a uh, scallop little okay. spadino. Okay. Okay. Not bad, but but the breading is kind of overpowering. You think? I don't see how it adds to it. Okay. You know. Okay. And um, you got some carabas too, didn't you? Yes, I did. I got the pumpkin ravioli, mm-hmm. and the guy said this is um, uh, seasonal, I think. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure when it's going to be ending, but it's going to be ending. Uh, no meat is in here. Okay. There's just a pumpkin ravioli. A so pumpkin gonna... ravioli. Yes. You can definitely taste the sweetness in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's different. Never had pumpkin ravioli. But it is different, and okay. I think this is like a a buttercream sauce or something like that. So uh, it's different. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's different. Would I get it again? Probably not, because <laughs> I just don't see pumpkin and ravioli. Yeah, yeah. It's going together, but it is different. Yeah, I was kind of um. Want to say something? I was kind of cautious, but uh, I, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. To. I don't want to. No. Pumpkin ravioli. Not really my favorite, but hey, we're out here to taste of Kennesaw, like we said earlier, just having fun, living it up, enjoying the weather. It is cold out here, but we make enough for it. They have plenty of different choices out here, coffee, things of that nature, hot chocolate. So there's a lot of options out here, guys. And they do this every year, but it's a lot of options out here. So next year, come on down. Come on down. Yep. Folks, still at the taste of Kennesaw, enjoying all the nice culinary de- delectables they have here. I'm enjoying right now a pineapple and ketchup, banana and ketchup. What is it? Pineapple, banana and ketchup? Uh-huh. Pine- pineapple, banana and ketchup. Chicken. Barbecue chicken skewer. Yes. From Kamayan ATL. It's an Asian or oh, no, Filipino spot. Yes. So and that line was long. Long line. Wow, this is good chicken and chicken, wow. Is it? Great flavor. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. That is the bomb. Take your order. 
Hey, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good tender chicken. Hey, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah, good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So, guys, let me eat up on this chicken. We about to wrap up our little outing today. Yep. Very nice. The wind is picking up a little bit now. Yes. Getting a little, little breezy, so we'll be back with the wrap-up. Yes. And showcase everywhere we went today. And um, we're looking forward to those comments, guys. See you in a few. Out here at Taste of Kennesaw, it was the bomb. Yes, it was delicious. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. We're about to go home. We're in the car, as you see. Um, just want to showcase a few of our spots we went to today. The Colombian Bites. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty good. They had the empanada and the, what else? The, the rice, the chicken rice, the vegetable chicken rice. Yes. Um, sweet tomatoes. Yes. Um, they came in second place, in my opinion, with the um, chicken pot pie stew and biscuit. Pretty yeah. good, especially on a cool um, morning. Yes. Rodney, Jamaican ding, soul ding, food. Ding, 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 number one, number one. Yay, Rodney. Ooh, Rodney. Get it, Rodney. Get yes. it, Rodney. Delicious. So, Rodney, I had the jerk chicken, the mac and cheese, mm. and also the cabbage. The cabbage Love was very cabbage, good. Love your cabbage, Rodney. Very Love good. your cabbage. Um, lastly... We had Carabas, you know, and then we had the new dish we tried, the pumpkin ravioli, which wasn't too bad. What, and what I discovered, guys, the pumpkin was actually inside the ravioli. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like Jay had mentioned earlier when we was eating it, it's kind of like a dessert. Yeah, it's kind of like a dessert. He did end up me. tasting it. Yeah, I tasted it. But, um, yeah, it was inside. I was surprised. Yeah. Wasn't too bad, but <laughs> something different. So my overall rating for the entire experience, I would say out of five, we, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a five because we tried so I many different too. things and it yes. was very fun. It's a very good event. So we'll get a five for the overall experience. Yes. If anybody's in the area today, come on out to Kennesaw for the Taste of Kennesaw. What do you think? I give it a five as well for the overall experience. Like uh, Jay said earlier, my number one place is Rodney's. They're number one for me. Uh, Jamaican soul food. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So, stay on the lookout for new Travel and Chew videos. We're coming up with a new season. We want to try to reinvent ourselves with better editing, better videos. So, guys, you stay out on the, stay on the lookout for those videos coming to you real soon. Yes. And as we always say on Travel and Chew, like and subscribe. Yes. But, have a great day.